Hey y'all, good evening. Are you ready for a 30 minute Tabata? Yes? So, quick, to the point, we're gonna maximize every second, every minute of our workout. We have six rounds of Tabata. So for those of you that are new to this format of interval training, it's 20 seconds work, 10 second rest. All right, so um, welcome back. I'm Angela, wellness director at the Ron Rosner um, Family YMCA. But obviously you've been seeing so many faces. Um, we're all sort of just getting through this, working out with each other. And I'm super excited to have you watch this video. You will need water, towel, mat, anything like that, um, that you might wanna put down on the floor, but always have water. And the good thing about this video is that we're not live, so you can push pause when you need to. You can take more rest because we are like, going through the rounds. As soon as we start, we're gonna maximize effort and time. Now, you can see that I have a jump rope out, I have a kettlebell out, and I have a set of dumbbells. Obviously, work with what you have at home. You do not need a jump rope, okay? You can mimic the jump rope. I will do that on and off. If you have a jump rope, great. So, if you don't have kettlebells and dumbbells, just get whatever option that you have, whatever weights that you've been using at home to work out with me thus far. Um, you know, I would love if you could get like a heavier piece and then like a lighter piece. It just depends, okay? Because we're going to get the full body experience. We're going to have cardio, upper body, lower body, and some core effort in this 30-minute workout. So we're going to get started. I have a timer going that's going to keep me right on the money, okay? Because if I counted 20 seconds, it might really be like 45 for you guys, and nobody wants that, okay? All right, and remember, please be safe, be mindful of your space, so move anything else out of your way so that you have a nice, good arms reach distance, like 360 degrees, so you're not gonna step on a weight, you're not gonna step or trip on a, a mat or a towel or your water. You know, have the things you need close, but just not in your way to potentially be a hazard. Also make sure that you are safe and cleared for an exercise routine. Yes, ready? Here we go, warming up. We're gonna start with big arm circles, okay? I love this kind of stuff. We're just opening the chest, opening the shoulders, taking big circles back, take big circles forward. Really starting in this warm up to get the connection with our body and our breath. One more time back. Three, two, one, forward. Three, two, one, reach up tap, reach up, tap. So breathe, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hugely important to breathe with our movements. Not only does it help pull your core in, which entails, like in turns rather, um, protects that low back, okay? So breathing is important on lots of different levels. Also, we need air to survive, right? <laughs> of course we do. All right, hold it here. Bring it down, push it up. Bring it down, push it up. So you should just be in a comfortable squat stance. I'm just sinking the hips back and down, pushing through the heels. And then at the top, I'm standing tall and I'm reaching up and I'm squeezing those glute muscles together. That's just a fancy way of saying I'm squeezing my tush together at the top. Keeps everything nice and in line. Keeps hips in line with the shoulders. And up, last one, good. Step it back and we're gonna reach up and bring it together. Reach up, bring it together. So same principle, you wanna step back and sink down. We wanna make sure that the weight is in that front heel. Never in our lunges do we wanna feel most of our body weight in our toes. That puts a lot of pressure on the knees and over time, it's not good. Here we go, one more. Now, we're gonna think laterally. Gotta warm up all planes of motion here. 
all sides of the body. I want you to reach up and pull them back down. So we want to think about stepping into that side lunge, but making sure that your foot, your ankle, knee, and hip are still in line. So a lot of times we see overstepping, switch sides, and breathe. We got 10 seconds. In our warm up, I'm being a little loose with the 2010, okay? Because we just want to keep moving the whole four minutes for that warm up. Here we go, jacks. So if you're not ready for the jumping, I want you to be right here. You can still be quick, dynamic, deliberate with your movements, but you can take the impact out. Three, two, one, here we go. Quick little switch of the feet. Reach up, tap the toes out. You got it. One more time, jacks. So our first round, gonna be lower body. I might sneak in a little teeny bit of upper body, but mainly working on lower body. For three, two, one, warm up complete. So whatever kind of weight you have, kettlebell, dumbbell, maybe you don't have any weights, you can do this with just your own body weight for resistance. You're gonna bend down, abs in tight, draw that belly button in, wide stance, shoulders back, chest open. Deep squats if you're ready. So deep would be to maybe tap that weight. You listen to your body, be as deliberate in your movements as you can that's comfortable and safe for your joints. One more time. Good. Yeah? That was 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest goes fast. We're going into figure eights in three, two, one. Squat down. Transfer the kettlebell or the weight behind that knee. And you're still acting like you're sitting in that chair. Weights in the heels. Push up, squeeze that booty together. Last one, good, recover. So we're gonna go squat to a high pull. So we're still getting in that squat. We take it down, we bring it up. Weight comes up, you can make it one fluid movement or you can separate the two movements. recover. All right, one more. You can set your weight down for this, sneaking in a little cardio with some pop squats. So it's here, in and out. Hold your weight for more cardio, for more resistance, or set your weight down. You can even stay low in the legs and side tap. Whatever you got, give it 100%. Five, four, three, two, one, recover. We got to do that again, y'all. Okay. Roll your shoulders back. Reset. Deep squats. Here we go. I like, since we have eight rounds, okay. Well, technically it's eight sets inside of that round. I like to do four exercises and repeat. and recover. Figure eights are next. Readjust, reset, proud chest, sink low. Here we go. Back. Now, if on this second one here, you're like, oh, I'm feeling good. Stay in your legs. Make sure your belly button's in nice and tight. Stay nice and low. Feel that burn in the thighs. Start to creep up. You got it. For three, two, one, bring it up. Two more, y'all. Two more. Regular squat with that high pull. Make sure elbows are out. Ready, go. Down, pull up. The weight 
comes right to the chest. Strong pull. You get a little bit of help with the legs. Elbows out. Last one. All right, here we go. Pop squat, with or without the weight, with or without any adjustments, jumping or stepping. Go, 20 seconds. Come on, you're gonna get 20 seconds of recovery after this before we switch into an upper body round. Breathe, halfway there. I know you're out there, I know you're watching. You can stay right here with me for three, two, one, break. Bend your knees, set it down. Quick sip of water, take a pause on the video if you need it. Grab upper body weights, okay? Bicep curls to start, turn your palms out. Knees soft, abs tight, here we go. I want you to breathe out as you lift up. Nice and controlled. I'm not leaning back. I'm nice and tall, keeping my shoulders right over my hips. One more rep. Good. So, overhead extensions or kickbacks. Today, for our purposes, I want to do kickbacks. I'm going to sink down in the legs, press back. Come on, join me. Slightly tuck the tailbone. But I don't want you to look at your feet but I also don't want you to extend and look up at me at the camera. Nice neutral spine here. You got it. Squeeze, hold it for a moment at the top. One more time. Push through the legs, stand tall. Shoulder press. I'm gonna keep it narrow. If you wanna make it harder, you would press it wide, okay? So we're here, same setup that we have with our bicep curls. Staying tall, keeping our belly button pulled in towards our spine, keeping everything stacked over one another, right? Shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over feet. One more. All right, reverse flies. So same position that we're in for our tricep. Sink down, slightly tuck the tailbone, lean in. I want you to exhale, open, pretend. Like you're squeezing those shoulder blades together so much, like there's a tennis ball there. You wanna feel that squeeze. You got it. Five seconds. Push through, recover. One more time, y'all. Okay, now we know what we got going. Bicep curls, tricep kickbacks, curl it up. Then we got shoulders. Then we got those reverse flies. So, hitting all the major muscle groups in our upper body, biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, upper back. If you're starting to swing, break. If you're starting to swing, if you have tension in the face, you need to drop one weight or you need to go down in your weights, lower weights, here we go. Try not to rock back and forth. Woo, we're past halfway. One more, one more. Push through the legs, stand tall. Shoulder presses. Time goes by so fast when you have limited rest, right? Load those guns up. Here we go, press it. If for some reason this is too much on the shoulders, I would go single reps one at a time or I would go to that high pull that we did with our lower body wrapped. Pressing overhead if it's too much, good, take a break. I would always stay here so you're not pressing overhead. Last time, here we go, our flies. Sink back in the hips, exhale, squeeze it open. I'm facing you this time so you get another vantage point of me. One more time, best one yet. Woo! Hey, we're halfway there. 
We did our warm up round, lower body round, upper body round. Let's go cardio. Ready? Standing mountain climbers, repeaters, squat jumps, repeaters on the other side. Up, pull. Right? So it's like we're climbing that ladder. Arm is up when the opposite knee is up. Reach and pull. You can step. Doesn't mean that you have to take this slowly. If you're stepping, you can still make it dynamic for three, two, one, recover. Now, repeaters, if you want to make it harder and add a weight, add a weight, you're going to sink back. You're going to start weight out, in and out. So, your weight's in that front heel. That front leg is bent. You're feeling that fire in your quad. If you don't have a weight, reach and pull with the hands. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Set that down. Squat jumps. Should be breathing hard. In through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. Sink down, little lift off. Sink down, little lift off. You can be here. Push up on the toes, squeeze that booty. Big breath out as you lift up on the toes or as you leave the ground for four, three, two, one. Take a break. Grab that weight. If you weighted your other side of repeaters, other legs turn, reach, go, go. Tabata is not an easy format. Challenges us, pushes us out of our comfort zone, but that's good. We need to do that from time to time. Can't stay steady, can't stay stagnant. Set it down. Woo, from the top, repeat. Standing climbers in three, two, one, here we go. It's just 20 seconds. Keep telling yourself that. Push and pull. Knees up to 90 if you can. Eight seconds. For four, three, two, one. Repeaters. Sink low. Weighted or non-weighted. Arms out. Pull everything in together. I don't want you to straighten that front leg. I want it to stay bent. It's not standing every time. It's staying in the leg. For three, two, one. Two more, y'all. Squat jumps, repeaters other side. Yes, you can. You've got this. You're stronger than you think. Get out of that mind. Go. Come on, Megan. Come on, Will. I know you're watching. I know you push play. Come on, Heather. Come on, Mary Beth. I know some of y'all are out there watching this. Give it everything you got. Two, one, break. Last time. Other leg. Got to be even, right? Arms out. Go. 20 seconds. Don't let any exercise define you. Listen to your body, but don't give yourself an excuse to quit just because it's hard. For three, two, one, rest. All right, we're gonna come down just a little. We're gonna start with half kneeling wood chops and then weighted sit-ups. Pop a foot up, you're on that back knee, load the shoulder, come across slightly. So notice how my knee stays forward, it doesn't twist with me. The twist is coming from the upper body and the torso. Last one, switch sides. Load that other shoulder, knee forward, weights in that heel, abs in tight, and you're going across. 
a little bit of balance work, right? Feel a little unsteady at times. And we have weighted sit-ups and Russian twists. And we're gonna repeat it all one more time. Five seconds. One more. Quick change. Bring it down. One or two weights. I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna push my weights up and I'm gonna sit up. So the weights never change position. They're never behind my head and they're never over top my face. So it's a little bit of stability work for the upper body, shoulders and chest. Breathe out. One more, all the way up. Now, drop a weight if you'd like. Sink back, elbows in tight. I'm holding my weight vertically. Heels down, Russian twist, here we go. If you wanna make it harder, pick up those feet. But notice, I don't have my legs crossed. I wanna keep feet together. We don't want that lower back and spine out of alignment. When you cross your legs, that's what happens. For three, two, one. Woo, one more time. One weight, pop it up, load the shoulder, kneeling wood chops. That is so bizarre. One of my weights just fell behind me over there and that's just kind of freaky. So maybe I was like vibrating the ground too much or maybe there's someone else down here working out with me. Here we go, pop it up, load the shoulder. Four, three, two, go. 20 seconds. We only have one more round after this, and it's gonna be a mixture, okay? It's gonna be a mixture, and we're gonna use our jump rope. Whether you have a jump rope or not should not worry you, okay? Bring it back, weighted sit-ups, one or two weights. You're all the way back, okay? Feet on the ground, up, exhale, lift. If you have one weight, you're just going to hold that between the hands. If you don't have a weight, you're going to keep your hands just like me. Everything's the same, except you don't have weights in your hand. One more time. Good. Bring it down. Set a weight down. Heels down. Lean back. Feel that tummy engage. Your back and you're twisting hip to hip. Hip to hip. Make it harder. Lift the feet, but keep them together. Come on, y'all. 10 seconds. Strong core, strong body. Five, four, three, two, one, and one. One more round. So we got jump ropes, squats, jump ropes, lunges, jump ropes, side lunges, Jump ropes, standing core. Who's ready for some jump ropes? Go! Now, if you don't have a jump rope, don't worry. Do what I'm doing, but just with your hands. Right? You don't have to hold a jump rope. It can be right here. The jump rope, just to give us 20 second cardio bursts. For three, and two, and one. Set it down. Squats, weighted or not weighted. It's up to you. Spread those feet, comfortable squat stance, go down, press up. So I'm holding mine in my hands for more of that goblet squat. We've already done that deep squat where we had the kettlebell or the dumbbell in our hands and it floated towards the ground. One more. I just wanted a different variation Whenever you're sitting something down, make sure you're doing that bend in the knees, not your back. Go. Now, if you're barefoot like me, be super cautious of that jump rope. If it smacks the toes, doesn't feel great. I've learned that the hard way. Five seconds. And three, two, recover. 
lunges. We're stepping back. I'm gonna hold my weight exactly like I did for my squats, go. Stepping back, bending in to the knees, pushing off, driving off that front heel. Set it down. So you'll notice we're only doing one set of each of those exercises, but we're gonna get four sets of jumps in. Ready, go. So our, woo, third set of our jumps. We got side lunges, standing core. For three, two, one. Almost there. I'm gonna hold the weight in my hand. I'm gonna step side, center, side, center, side, center, side, center. Halfway there. We're alternating so we can stay even. Sink the hips back. Don't let that weight pull you forward. One more each side. One more. Last set of jumps, and we're gonna end on standing core. You've got two more in you, I know you do. Go, come on, come on. Woo, Tabata, 30 minutes. Goes by fast. You're almost there. We're gonna cool down together, we're gonna stretch together, but we gotta do these last two rounds for three, two, one. Grab a weight, whatever weight you have. A little bit of shoulders, a little bit of chest. We're gonna start with it up and march. Bring knees and weights together. Exhale, squeeze everything in. You're strong, you're powerful, you're capable. Let's go. Three, two, one. You made it. Bend your knees, set that down. Recover with me a little bit. Maybe you look like this. Maybe you're glistening. Maybe you're breathing heavy. If you are, great job, okay? If you're not like out of breath right now, we need to get you some heavier weights and you need to do some virtual sessions with me and we'll kick it up a notch for you, okay? So. Look for that post later today. Um, your wellness team is rolling out virtual personal training. All right, so I've scheduled that information to come out later on our Facebook page. Start to lean in, stretch it out with me while we kind of talk and chat. So you're going to be able to train virtually with your favorite instructors, your favorite trainers. You can contact myself, Carrie Dame, or Naomi Murdoch for more information, but please believe that that information is gonna be out there. <sighs> Starting to let our breath return to normal, but we gotta stretch it out, all right? Soft little pull across the chest. Shake that out. Bring the other arm across. I'm very grateful to get to lead you all in workouts you will be super excited and amazed with a lot of the new classes that are coming out next week. So some of your favorite instructors are back. We're gonna start featuring them on Facebook as well as the Zoom schedule will be like exploding. I think at a minimum, we're offering like five or six classes a day, some days more than others, okay? So lots and lots of new stuff coming your way next week and we're gonna be offering things every single day, Monday through Sunday, okay? Take a deep breath up. And a big breath out. One more time. And exhale. It's Thursday, we're almost through this week. Think of something 
thoughtful and kind that you can say to yourself to end this evening. Maybe right now at the end of our workout, tell, your something, tell yourself something kind, something thoughtful. Take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.